YouTube and the internet alike. Today's video, we're going to be discussing free roam. There's been a lot of questions pop up recently about what that means, what that looks like for other people, and I haven't seen it addressed a whole lot in videos, so I thought I would take the time to do this. Um, please excuse the rest of the videos where I'm talking because um, I was extremely tired from not getting a good night's sleep when I took those, so I look a little rough. Um, that's life sometimes with small children and being a stay-at-home mom. So let's talk about what free roam is. Free roam means different things to different people. It can mean basically any time that you get your rats out of the cage and you're not holding them or carrying them around somewhere. Um, it's usually done in a room or on a surface. Lots of people free roam on their beds or their couches. Basically, it's just a way for your rats to be out of the cage without being contained someplace and somewhere safe. Um, in our case, we tend to free room in our craft room, school room, office room. Um, that's where the rats live and it's a long skinny room that's really easy for me to make sure it's safe for them. And some people do use play pens as part of their free room. I'm sorry, Fred's over here staring at me like, what are you doing? I'm talking about you, Fred. Um, so we don't use a playpen all that much, except if I need the boys to get a little more exercise because I've found for some reason when they're loose in the room, they will only play for a little bit and then they tend to get tired and fall asleep. Whereas if they're in the playpen, they're kind of forced to continue and move a little bit. So it's good to get more exercise, at least for my rats, but for some rats that's not the case. So you'll just have to take into consideration your rats needs and your home and what will work best for you. Um, we do a little bit of both when we travel. I always bring our playpen and I will attach a video of what our playpen area tends to look like set up. I will post a link in the description to how I built it because I used another wonderful YouTuber's um, tutorial for that. And I think that's all. So I hope this video helps you out and is informative for you. This is how my boys free roam. They are all litter box trained. They don't pee on the floor very much. They might dribble a tiny bit, but I clean the floor pretty much a couple of times a week. Here's George. Hi, George. So here's what I have first. First thing is you need a safe place for them to play. In this case, this is my office space. They can run around on the floor, underneath stuff, which they love to do. But you also need a, a way to keep them in that space. So in this instance, I have a baby gate that I have outfitted with window screen so that they can't get through it. Um, they could probably climb it if they wanted to, but my boys are super lazy and have not done that. Um, I found when they have enough room, they don't do that at all. They don't try to escape. So most of the time, if I'm in here and they are out, they are on the cage somewhere. I see George peeking out there. He's staring at me. Hi, George. Hi, buddy. Uh-oh, someone has opened the food bowl, and they're just helping themselves to the food. Who did that? That's not good. What's the problem? Oh, everybody's coming. Is it dinner time? Is it time for food? They say, is it time for food, Mommy? Like three out of five rats think it's time for dinner. And usually that means we go up the stairs to get to dinner, Mom. Hold on, let me mix it. Move your tail, Tread. There you go. Okay, so you need a way to keep them in, a room for them to be in. This is the room for them to be in. Usually they play around the cage. They play in those bins under the cage. Sometimes they climb and play in these toys that I have put out. Um, the kids decorated the floor with them so they had stuff to do. I don't usually do that. Um, usually I just let them run around and then they also will play on top of the cage up there and there's usually the toys are usually up there um, That's why I leave them up there because then they play up there um, They will run around the edges of the room Underneath that And that sort of thing Around here they really like that little cardboard triangle tube there and every so often they go on the other side of the room where my craft supplies are. But usually that's if I'm sitting over there and they want to say hi. 
um, to get them to go back in the cage, I'll have to find a video, but I trained them to go up the stairs when I put the food in the kibble, in the bowl. So they have been taught to do that. They usually will do this within three minutes. Um, I have to keep reminding them because they're a little slow, but they will go in. Or they'll at least come out and let me catch them because George there, he is not the brightest bulb and he'll come and like climb up the cage and then get stuck and can't figure out how to get back in. So usually I help him. But everybody else seems to understand exactly how it works and will climb up on their own. They do not usually poop on the floor. Usually any poop I find on the floor has come out of the cage when they're playing. There's George. There's my cutie. George. There he is. He's so cute. I love his little blaze face. There he is. There he is. He's so cute. He's coming down to investigate. Hi, George. How are you, baby? How are ya? Busy, busy. So that's how my free range space works. So um, when I first got them, we did not free range. We were in a rental home and I wanted them to be really bonded with us first so they would come when called. And so we used a very massive playpen. I have videos of that as well and pictures. I'll try to put one in a second. So we used the massive playpen and we would put toys in that and they got really used to just being picked up and handled. They got used to coming when I shook the treats jar. Um, just they were not skittish of being out of the cage then. They were used to the smells in the area so when we moved into our house instead of in the rental, I did the same thing here for a while. I did a playpen for a little while. Um, oh hi, somebody's at my feet. It's blue. Hey, baby. Come here. Come say hi. Hello, sweet boy. Oh, no. He's been under the couch, and apparently it's a little dusty under there, so he's going to sneeze a little. Um, so they got used to running around in here, and then they started playing with the gate up once I set that up, which that took me... How long did that take me, Blue? I don't know. We were here for a little bit before I did that. And I had been using the cardboard playpen pieces. I have one piece that's separate. And I put it, he's gonna go get on my desk because my desk is right there. Excuse you, come here. Um, I had been using the cardboard playpen pieces. I have one piece that's separate. That's an extension piece and I made after the fact that I'd been using to block the door but that was not working because the cat tried to knock it over many, many times. So, you're going back on the floor. Keep trying to get at my desk, you stinker. So, we outfitted the gate so the cat couldn't do that. And um, it worked out pretty good. They have never tried to get out, and I think they like that they can smell out of it. Um, in fact, they'll sit there with the cat on the other side. And I swear, they're teasing him on purpose, and we'll take baths and... All kinds of stuff they're very silly boys so that's how they free roam and when I need to kick them back I use the food and I can show you that later I will attach a video at the end so um, cleaning wise I clean by spraying like a vinegar spray on my carpet I vacuum under stuff regularly and usually I find when they're bored, they go back in the cage on their own. Um, there's been a couple of times where I've had them out for hours because I was in here and it was late and I was the only one up. And they will just, they will just play and play and then finally they get tired and they go back in the cage. So um, sometimes they do that and sometimes I put them back. So it's really nice. But if they have a big enough space, they don't try to get out. Good boy. 
Wait, 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 wait,